Hey guys, my orchard videos. Well, got my phone again. <laughs> so it's a pretty convenient thing to have. But we found the culprit with the water pump. So this thing here, I mean, this cannot be good. <laughs> so. Now you're running over, it's all running. I noticed that wasn't um, was one nut missing on the uh, uh, alternator there. Cute little thing. But I noticed some metal flakes on here. So this is thing has been running cockamamie for a long, long time, and it's just. Not so good. I thought maybe the fan was broken or something, eh? but uh, fan's okay. And pulley's okay, not cracked. I thought, oh shit, it's cracked. But it's gonna be easy fix, but uh, not so easy. Some metal filings in there and stuff. So this has been like this for quite a while. So I don't know. Maybe this engine has never been rebuilt. Who knows? I don't know. Uncle said it was rebuilt, so I mean, you would think if someone were building an engine, they at least would say, oh, well, this, excuse me, if this is all wonky donkey, then uh, why didn't replace it? I mean, you know, makes sense to me. If you're building an engine, you fix all this stuff that's wrong with it, right? Not always the case, but this, this is not right. So, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to investig investigate this a little bit, maybe go to tractor supply or actually the Kubota dealer and see if there's a uh, I suspect it's just a bearing in here comes apart probably right here somewhere and uh, probably get a new a new water pump for it so whatever it is but there's some metal flakes here metal shaving so this has been didn't show quite a while so other than that looks alright uh, cute little thing I like this little thing so, yeah, pretty interesting. Simple. Simplicity is sometimes the best. So, radiator needs a little bit of help. So, um, this has come off here, so I have to solder that. I'm gonna have to do some YouTubing and see how I can solder that. So, check it out. Someone, someone have a video out there how to do that kind of stuff. So, I'm sure it can't be that complicated. Yeah, so there you have it. I'm working on it slowly but surely. And I'm off again. So, Pretty, pretty interesting little machine. I mean, the transmission is the back, right? And the dry shaft just runs right across there. Makes it more versatile for doing other, other things, right? So I would have liked to pressure wash the whole damn thing, but now it's too cold now to get that on the on there. And uh, I might end up putting welding an ion here and making this power steering, but we'll see. You know, have a loader of stuff on there is going to make that much more harder to turn. But there is some other stuff here in the addressing too. The axle is moving in there, so I suspect the bushing is worn out. That can't be good. Oh, it's loose. So, check it out. That's all we can do. So, yeah. Anyway. Cool stuff. Anyways, uh, we're going to, um, I said we're going to, well, probably end up uh, uh, tomorrow, I guess, we'll go to the, talk to the tractor dealer, or the Kubota dealer, and see if we can 
get a water pump for this thing here. So I addressed that there. So yeah, so I'll go from there. Uh, I'm not going to be touching it too much, just filters and so forth and get it running good. And that's pretty much it. And uh, I'm not too sure if this thing has a block heater or nothing in it. I'm not too sure. I don't want to get it running when it's too cold, but we have some other stuff coming to the shop probably tomorrow. And uh, you'll have to see what I'm getting. So anyway, there you have it. Parts and pieces everywhere. All right. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more updates from my orchard videos. And remember to remember to uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, all the likes and everything helps the channel grow and su and such. And uh, if you have any questions about uh, this little Kubota, uh, Kubota HST uh, G4200. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.